Hey, Daily Dosers, my name is Tracy. I'm one of the pastors at the Carlsbad campus and I'm gonna share with you out of Philippians 3 today. And I'm gonna do verses 12 through 14, but I wanna back up for just a minute and remind you of what you heard yesterday in verse 10, because Paul is referencing that. And he says, I want to know Christ more and the power of his resurrection. So let me read to you verses 12 through 14 says, now that I have not already obtained this or am already perfect, but I press on to make it my own because Christ Jesus has made me his own. Brothers, I do not consider that I have made it my own, but one thing I do, forgetting what lies behind and straining forward to what lies ahead. I press on towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God in Christ Jesus. And Paul knew that in order for us to know Christ more, we were gonna have to be intentional about our lives. And he gives us a recipe of sorts to get that done in verses 12 through 14. First thing he says is don't look back, don't look behind you. It's kind of like blinders for racehorses. You know, they do that so that the horses can't look behind, they can't get spooked by anything that's coming up alongside that they just are focused on the finish line. And Paul's saying we need to do the same thing. And when I think about um, not looking behind and being spooked about something, I immediately think of a few years ago when I was doing some sprint triathlons. Those are the really short ones. And I'd gotten pretty comfortable with the bay and the calm water. So I decided I would try an open water swim. And the weather was bad. Every condition was not good that day. The current was hard, lots of waves waves, hard weather, and I plunge for it. And as I get past the break and around the buoy, all I can see behind me are these waves that are just coming one after the other after the other. And I kind of turn and then I just get just crashed by these waves and I get turned around and I keep looking behind. And my husband said, he's standing up on the cliff going, just turn around. Because had I turned around and looked towards what was my finish line, which was the shore, I would have realized I was so close. But I got so focused and distracted and off course by looking back. And Paul knew that that would be our tendency. So he's like, don't do that. Look straight ahead, put those blinders on. The other part that he gives us is that we press on. Another translation said, I'm straining forward. And the Greek word that is used here, it's like with great intensity in every fiber of our being. And Paul is saying, it's the one thing that I'm telling you to do is to get this hyper focus on him and what it is that we're supposed to be doing in this life and knowing Christ more. And you know, I think oftentimes we are so hyper focused about the things in our lives, whether it's our work and getting things accomplished, whether it's our kids and their schedules and activities activities or even hobbies and passions, we're super focused. It's on our calendar and we have it set and we are intense about those things to meet goals and accomplish things. And Paul's saying, don't lose sight of what your intensity is supposed to be about. It's supposed to be about the things of God and living for him and having our eyes on the prize of the finish line of being perfected in Christ Jesus. And so I would encourage you today to just ask yourself, what am I being focused on? Am I looking in the back? Am I focusing on what was or what could have been and I'm so distracted or maybe even paralyzed by that? Or am I looking towards the finish line? And is it the things that are of Christ, whether it's study, it's prayer, it's being in community with people, it's um, any of the serving in church, whatever it is that's gonna keep our eyes on the prize of Christ Jesus, he's saying that's what we should be focusing on today. So I would just encourage you today to ask yourself, where's my focus? And God, is there something that I need to shift the rudder a little bit in order for me to really know you more and to know what it's like to live in the power of your resurrection? And I know that he will meet you there. I'll see you next time.